Hey everybody, we've been out on the road all morning driving and we are in Holbrook, Arizona right now. And we stopped to see the Bucket of Blood Saloon and the Train Depot and a couple other things. You might know Holbrook from the dinosaurs and the uh, Painted Desert Petrified Forest, but uh, we wanted to see the Bucket of Blood. So I'm going to take you and turn you around and let you see what it looks like over here. I had thought that they said that it was closed down or that it was no longer. But um, according to this, this was the old saloon here. And it got its name because it says after the town was founded in the early 1800s, Holbrook quickly became a ranching town. And one of the first... Arizona stops for the railroad. Along with cattle came cowboys and they were a rougher bunch than is usually depicted in popular media. Rustlers, gang members, outlaws, and ranchers all living in the same area eventually led to a number of skirmishes, gunfights, and other battles in the area. Oh, here comes a train. This led to the town earning the reputation as one too tough for women in churches. So the Bucket of Blood Saloon used to be called Terrell's Cottage Saloon. And then it got renamed Bucket of Blood Saloon after so many fights and everything. So these are all different um, informative signs here that tell you all about. There's how the Bucket of Blood got its name. One of the stories was the fight was over some horse thieves. Another story was that uh, it was from a poker game gone bad. So I'm not quite sure exactly the true story. the street over here. This is the old train depot. They say that this section of Central Avenue that leads to the saloon and the old train depot was renamed for the bloody event and is recognized as one of the strangest street names in existence. Holbrook a few hours ago and now we're in Gallup, New Mexico. We're going to be spending the night here and then we're going to be getting back on the road in the morning.